Andre, uh, obviously a big opportunity for you to make your UFC debut on a pay-per-view main card against a fan favorite and everything. Just tell us how exciting it was to get the call for this. Amazing. I'm so grateful. I couldn't be happier. Uh, more opportunity. I was sad that um, I couldn't get the main event last week, but it's even better. <laughs> it gets even bigger and I can fight in front of the audience. Yeah, this is kind of like a, a dream debut for you to be fighting on this platform. You're setting the stage for two big title fights and everything. It seems like it's just a, a dream come true, right? Yes, 100%. The dream will come after the, my performance, I believe. But not right now. So, uh, Michel Pahé is obviously a very unique type of fighter and everything. What are your expectations for him in this fight? What do you have to do to prepare for his style? I just got to be myself. I got to stay composed, relaxed. Uh, have my feet sharp, and through a little I'll catch him, and I'll put him out, I believe. Yeah, so patience is a big key, you think, for this? Yes, of course. Uh, I think he's going to waste energy like he always does. He likes to put on a show. I like to put on a show, too, in another way. And uh, if I stay calm, compose, patience, and focus, I believe I'll put him out. Yeah, he seems like the type of guy, like he says a lot, you know, the wins and the losses don't seem the most important. It's about being entertaining. Uh, can you relate to that mindset at all, or for you, is it just a, a much different focus? No, of course not. Uh, I'm a winner. I like to win. I hate losing. Uh, I've made some mistakes in my career, in my life, uh, but I corrected them. And uh, I believe now at my best. And, uh, when you say that, what's the, the number one thing, whether it's a mistake or a correction, that you had to make to get where you are now? Well, I was not disciplined, I was not focused, um, I was not consistent, I thought I was the best already, I thought nothing and nobody could stop me, I thought I just had to punch them and they would go out, I didn't have to train. Uh, but I've, I've grown, I've matured, and uh, I'm a different man, I'm a different fighter now. So if you win this fight against Michelle, where do you think this puts you? I mean, this would be a big way to make your UFC debut. What are your kind of goals for the short term after this fight? I don't know. Um, I'm in great hands now in terms of management. So I trust them and I believe whatever they throw at me, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Um, I'm just focused on Michelle now. Uh, he was going to fight a top 15. <laughs> I would love to fight. I want to fight the best guys in the world, but... Only if the, make, if the money makes sense, and uh, I'll add that to my management. I just got to focus on fighting and put, put guys to sleep. Uh, right here. Uh, given this, you, you took this fight on short notice for your UFC debut, is there a silver lining in the fact that you don't, it's not weighing on your mind for so long, you can just jump right in? Yeah, I assume you were ready, you could just jump right into this fight. You don't have to do all the interviews and the media and the preparation. You can just get ready for this fight right, right away without all the noise surrounding fight buildup. Is there any silver lining in the fact that you took this fight on short notice so you didn't have all that noise leading up to the fight? You just could get right, prepare for this fight with all the interviews and stuff? Before. Well, I don't know. Um, I'm just so happy. You know, I feel blessed. Uh, I'm zero anxious, zero nervous. I'm, I'm so happy, you know. I'm, I'm grateful. And uh, I'm just going to try to enjoy it all. Is, uh, is this your dog right here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Do you normally bring uh, your dog to fight weeks? Yeah, I don't have uh, nobody to leave him with, so yeah, normally what's, I do. He's my best friend. What's his name? Rocco. Well, uh, speaking of Michelle, uh, the last time he had a big, uh, an opponent switch the last minute, he obviously lost the decision. Uh, do you think that's the blueprint is out now out there to beat him, to just kind of pressure him and uh, take him off his feet and avoid all of his antics he does in there to tire himself out? Uh, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I just got to be myself, stay sharp, focus. He throws some crazy stuff. And uh, I just got to stay sharp. When I connect, I think uh, I'll be able to put him out. Then finally, he has a lot of submission wins too, but I think fans kind of know him, know him as this exciting striker. Do you think his submission skills are underrated in the eyes of maybe fans and fighters? I don't know about that, but uh, I've had some friends that have trained with him and they told me that his ground game is not that good, so I don't know. I guess we're about to find out Saturday night. In training, how important is it to have people copy him or do you just focus on what you're going to do and not you know, have someone try to flip around like he does and everything else? I didn't have time for that. They called me Monday night. I took a plane on Tuesday 5 a.m. right away. Um, I just got to be myself. I got to focus on myself and do what I do best. Thank you.